problem is we cannot, we, we are getting a 12 billion lifeline in the, the biggest part of which is going to be used to repay debt, to repay previous debt. This is totally absurd. Even if the government manages to, to have the confidence vote tonight, it's not sure if they can put up, stand up to the pressure from the streets, especially during the two-day national strike at the days when the new austerity package is going to be discussed in Parliament. And regardless of which way the vote goes, MEP David Campbell Bannerman from the UK's Conservative Party told me he believes Greece's future prosperity rests with the collapse of the euro. The question now is, are we throwing good money after bad money? Um, you know, how many billions can you throw at this? Uh, you know, the tolerance of the people for cuts, uh, for extra taxes, as we've seen in Greece, there's real trouble there, but there's trouble in Spain and Ireland particularly. Uh, I think it's in major trouble, the euro. And as I've been saying for some time, I do believe it will collapse either in part or totally. Uh, and probably quite shortly now. But to be honest, I think the euro is a political prison for, for countries such as Greece and Spain. And they need to be liberated from that prison, recreate their own currencies, have devaluation, make their exports cheaper, make it easier for tourists to visit their countries, and they'll get back in, on their feet. I think they should go back to the drachma. I think they need to get out the euro. It is a prison for them. Uh, and to recreate the drachma, I know there are no plans at present to do that, but of course they can't sort of plan for plan B until uh, the euro actually fails. I think that is the salvation for Greece, uh, and that's a way it really should go. But obviously that's a matter for the Greek people.